So today we're going to paint the baseball and I am just going to uh, get out my paper plate, put some white paint on my board and give it a nice coat of white using my big brush. I'm just going side to side making sure that it stays smooth. Okay, I'm just about done here. I am going to give it a second coat, but before I do that, I'm going to blow dry it. So let me get my blow dryer here real quick. If you want to wait about 15 minutes, you could wait about 15 minutes, but I want to go ahead and dry it so I can paint this for you. So actually mine's not a blow dryer, mine's a heat gun. It's what a lot of people that paint all the time use to dry things with. So let's just get started and dry this thing. It gets very hot very quickly so I'm just going to keep moving it from side to side just to, to get it dry. I'm feeling it just to make sure it's okay. Okay. So now I'm going to paint it a second coat, and I'm not going to put a heavy coat on there, just a light one, but I am going to also paint the edges of the circle. Because if I put this on the refrigerator, make a refrigerator magnet with it, um, I want the sides to look good. So I'm going to quickly paint the rest of the sides, and then I'll just smooth everything out. Just quickly going back from side to side. I'm going to go ahead and dry this a second time. So that it can, I can get ready to draw on my baseball laces. So let me just get my dryer out again here. Okay, it shouldn't take very long. It's almost done here. Feels pretty good. Okay, so now I am going to just put red laces on my my baseball. But um, so I'm going to put some red paint on my board. But before I do use the red paint, I think I'm going to take a pencil and draw where I want the laces to go first. And so I'm just going to do with a regular school pencil. I'm just going to make a hoop here and then flip it over and do one a little bit bigger so now I know where my laces are going to be. I'm going to put these little like arrows because that kind of is what a baseball looks like. So I'll do the other one the opposite way. They're about an inch apart. You don't have to measure it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there you can already see a baseball coming through. So I'm just going to take my paint and I'm going to just paint the lines.
if you wanted to take this round circle, you can make a smiley face out of it, like an emoji. You could make it a donut, paint it with pink icing and put little sprinkles on top of it. You could do all kinds of things with a circle. But I wanted to do a baseball because my grandsons play baseball. So there you have it. There's your baseball. This one was not a hard one. But you could put this on the refrigerator and you could um, maybe put your name in it and your, your baseball number. But guys, there you go. This was a short little uh, quick one. But we have our baseball and I think it looks pretty cute. Have a great day.